When the hand sanitizer and toilet paper bandit come lurking around your house, will you be prepared? Well, you will if we've got something to say about it. Here's 10 hiding spots that thieves will never find. Money and personal effects are one thing, but above all else, you've got to protect your data. To properly pack away your private particulars, purchase a pickle jar and pull off the cap. Go ahead and snag a thicky and place it into your pickle holder. To make that drive resilient against the pickle juice, you're going to want to place it in a vacuum or zipper bag. Airing on the side of caution, we'll be sealing ours up. Once you've closed one side, take out the bag and seal the other. You should end up with a small plastic pouch, but try and fold it down as much as possible. Now take a knife and cut the pickle lengthwise. You're going to want to carve out a nice crevasse. And try not to slice all the way through while you're doing it. Important step, quickly give the pickle eyes and pinch it from the ends to make it happy. Or don't. Next, just slide the card into the mouth and press down firmly. Once sufficiently concealed, it'll definitely be tough to spot. Before putting it back, give the pickle a tickle to make sure it's ready. Then put it straight into the center of the jar. As an added measure to make sure no one takes a bite out of your memories, quickly brush some super glue around the top of your jar. Make sure to get all the way around and put the lid on as tightly as you possibly can. With a little rearranging, the pickle jar is hidden in plain sight and only you know the secret of this salty stash. Even if a hungry guest should appear and try to swipe a snack, this lid is on there for the foreseeable future. In fact, we found that it was completely impossible to open, unless someone's really hungry. For your most vital assets, you've got to have some volume and a good seal. So grab a couple empty paint cans and let's make this thing happen. You're going to need a large can, some paper towels, a smaller can, water, and of course, hot glue. Go ahead and rim the bottom of your smaller can with that delectable glue. Oh, and don't hold back. It doesn't have to be pretty, just effective. Now put the small can inside the large one. It should adhere almost immediately leaving you with a magnificent dual action bucket. To give it another level of security, fill that interior can with water. This will keep the can heavy and throw off any looters who aren't helping you with your home renovation. When it's completely full, press the lid on firmly and close it shut. As you can see here, there's plenty of space for our most important items. Just toss in things that you don't want anyone else messing with. Once you've got it loaded up, pack the remaining area with paper towels to keep your goods from shifting around. Now just super slam the lid back into place, deposit your can safe back where you found it, and only you will know the true dark secret that's buried deep inside your garage. This one's simple. Head over to your curtains and pop the rod right out of the brackets. Go ahead and remove one of the end caps and now the curtains can be swiftly pushed off and discarded to the floor, right where they belong. And now we have to choose what we're gonna put inside. Hey, what are you gonna be hiding in there? I'm the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, so carefully roll up your important documents until you have a tightly wound scroll. Slide them on in and tap it all into place at the end of the rod. Grab your finial and twist that bad boy back into place, ensuring that the fitment is snug and secure. Now just head back to your window and slide your curtains back on from the other side. Cap that end up and snap that rod right into place. Gotta hide your big money grocery store monopoly pieces or whatever. Look no further than an Xbox controller. Just flip it around and pop out those batteries. Oh, and don't worry, when we're done with it, it's still gonna work. Roll up those winning pieces before covering them up with aluminum foil. You wanna keep it pretty tight. Just make sure it's about the size of a traditional AA battery. If needed, go ahead and take some scissors to trim it down to size and then tap it on the tabletop to flatten it out a bit. If your faux battery comes out a little shorter in stature than you planned, just add a smidge of foil to the end. Back to the compartment. Go ahead and place a real battery into the slot. We're gonna use the first slot since this is actually the first time the Xbox controller has ever been touched. Now jam your foil battery into the second slot. If it fits well, you can close the compartment and fire up your controller. Since the foil completes the circuit, your device will still function normally. All right, you're done. Just stash it back where you keep all your other controllers and get back to leisurely watching One Tree Hill. When it comes to sneaky hiding spots, the kitchen stove is a chamber of secrets. Now, of course, using the inside's far too risky. That's why we're going down under. Pulling out the drawer at the base should leave you plenty of clearance to attach a small container. 
We had this empty dental floss box on hand and it was pretty simple to yank out the plastic from the inside. To make this thing work right, you can use some double-sided tack or a strong magnet. We're going all in on the magnet to keep this thing portable. Start by picking the magnet up, just use a butter knife like that, lay down a fat glob of hot glue right onto the container, and then press the magnet into the glue firmly, holding that knife in place. After just a few moments, the glue will have dried and you can slide the knife right off, leaving you something like this. When the end comes, we're gonna want some fruit stripe gum. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit, but that's nothing a little chopping can't fix. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about fruit stripe becoming stale, because everyone knows it's actually just multicolored cardboard anyway. With everything set up, pull that drawer back out and give it a lift. Your magnetic case will snap right onto the bottom, and since no one cleans there anyway, you can rest assured that this stove stash won't bring the heat. This next one requires you to have the most disgusting pint of ice cream available. We're using avocado here, but if you ever find kale flavor, send us an email. Inside the pint, we're gonna store these gold circle coins that are kicking up space in our fanny packs. To remove the cream, screw in a pineapple slicer until you get a firm grip, and then pull it all out en masse. A big spoon will probably work too, so you can give that a try. All right, toss the coins in a baggie, and zip them up tight. You want them to take up as little space as possible. Grab your cream stack and jam it back into the tub, giving it a little twist. Once you've got most of the ice cream inside, scrape off the excess before you mangle it further with a spoon. Mmm, delicious. All right, toss your coin collection back in the freezer and call it a night. This cold hard cash is perfectly preserved and out of harm's way. Not everything you've got can be hidden away in a Sub-Zero Outland, and that's when it's time to tell a gigantic jar of flour to get over here. We're gonna be stashing away this priceless copy of Mortal Kombat 2 for the Super Nintendo system. But if you don't have a giant jar of flour like we do, some processed sugar cano will do as well. Scoop some of the flour to the side before using it to bury your wrapped piece of history. Once fully submerged to the bottom, shake the jar around and conceal your treasure. Ah, looks great. Now just screw the top back on and stick it back in the cabinet. Oh, and don't worry. No one's gonna be raiding the flower pot anytime soon. Toasty! For smaller, important items like this magical skeleton key, sometimes your sneaky spot is in Davy Jones' locker, or just a fish tank. Since this particular key unlocks the attic where our dark rituals are performed, it's best to keep it in a plastic bag to ensure its preservation. Once you've got it in place, wrap it tightly before zipping up the top. You want to ensure a really tight seal. Now go ahead and carefully immerse your sealed sacrament into the unholy darkened water and nestle it under your philosopher's stone. Just make sure everything looks normal and you're done. Great job. Oh right, one more thing. If you constantly lose your house key, a secret compartment may already exist in your very own backyard. We found this finely crafted birdhouse to be an excellent storage facility, allowing us to fully conceal the key of destiny. If you're looking to stash some cold hard cash, a lint roller can transform into a stealthy safety deposit box in a flash. And of course, all while remaining completely functional. Just put your iron grip on the handle and give it a firm tug. Come on, you've had plenty of practice. It should pop off the plastic roller and reveal your waiting hiding place. Fold up your item and weave it into the slots on the roller to make sure it's secure. Once you've got it in place, jam that handle back onto the tape roller and clean that lint off your filthy shirt. Oh, right, if you don't believe in lint rollers, a paint roller follows a similar path to success and may actually be a better alternative. You see, it's not often that somebody accidentally stumbles upon a paint roller and decides to use it. And not to mention, they've also got ample room for housing your vacation fund. Bringing it home with this fast stash technique is your typical aerosol can, or is it? Just snag one that no one ever uses, like this bathtub cleaner. These types of caps hardly ever get removed, and that's where you come in. Once open, load it up with that money that you're saving for your taxes, keeping Uncle Sam's money safely pressed against the interior walls. Now you can easily replace the cap and your spray will still work. Even better, the opaque top will conceal your investment in the safety of your chemical collection under the sink. Well, that's all we've got for you today. Make oh, hey, don't worry about us. Everything's great here. Just have a look around. Oh, hold on a second. Decontamination sequence activated. Ah, perfect. Whew. 
Ooh, yeah. That air is so fresh and fragrant. <laughs> anyway, if you're seeing this, you are the resistance. We're tired of winning, and see you next time.